Welcome to Specific Love. Here recently, we built a fire pit kit in our backyard. It was a simple kit we bought from a local store, but we need some additional seating to go around it. So for this video, I'm gonna build a simple bench that goes partially away around, but so simple you can easily build it in a day. Let's begin. Now I'm gonna be using pressure treated lumber for this build because it's gonna be outside in the weather 100% of the time and I would like for this bench to last. So I have here some two by six by eights and this is gonna be used to start on the frame. Now the first length I need is 60 inches. You actually only need two of these for the front and the back of part of the frame. So I'm gonna cut this down with a miter saw but you can easily do this with a circular saw. Now that we have the two 60 inch pieces, I'm gonna take the leftovers and we're gonna cut three 14 inch sections. Now to build the frame, I'm actually going to be using the legs, these are 4x4s, as part of the support when I screw everything together. So I need to cut out four 17 inch long legs. Now once you have everything cut, you want to take it over to a flat surface. I know the top of my workbench is here it is flat, and I want to assemble this upside down. I strongly suggest upside down because you might not be able to see here, but this board is slightly taller, wider than it is on this one. So, if I was assemble this right side up, this would be a little bit uneven when we go to put the boards across the top. But if I assemble it upside down on a flat surface, even if these are a little bit off, it's gonna be the bottom. You're not gonna even see or even know. Now to avoid drilling screws right through the board into the end grain, which is weak, we're actually going to use the legs right here as supports, and that'll create that 90 degree angle but we can drill screws straight through the board into the legs themselves, and therefore keeping this nice and straight, but also not allowing it to go through end grain and should be a lot stronger. And if by chance you have some clamps, it's a great way to hold everything nice and sturdy while you're adding the screws. Now I'm gonna be using some four inch long screws to go through the frame and deep into the leg. And now that I have one side in, I'm gonna go ahead and install a centerpiece. It's just, it's just for support, and that way I don't have to worry about it being too tight later once I have the other side together. Then we just repeat the process for the other side. Now pressure treated wood should last great out in the elements. Now you can add an additional protective layer to the bottom of each of the legs by adding maybe some epoxy or wood glue or something along the lines that will seal off that end grain and prevent additional moisture from seeping in. Whew. All right, now that the first one's done, we have to build a second one identical to this. All right, we have both ends fully assembled. Now it's time to do the center section. And to do that, we're gonna have to have some angled cuts. You won't need as much wood, but you have to be strategic on exactly what angle you do cut. So let me show you how. Now imagine these are the two sides I just built. I need to connect a back brace to connect these together. And to do that, I need this to be at a 45 and a 45, but the same 60 inches as the side. And now that I have the back of the middle section cut, I need to cut the front of the middle section. This was 60, and for my build, this should be 46. Now once you have the back and the front cut out, you wanna make sure both of them are angled toward each other. And then we're gonna put another 14 inch piece right in the middle of both of them. We need to measure from end to end, make sure we have it nice and dead center for each of the boards, and then screw them together. Now my front board here, it is 46 inches long and 23 would be dead center. Well, unfortunately I have a large knot right dead center where I was gonna put a screw. Normally I would put three, but in this case I'm only gonna be able to put two. So if you have a real large knot right where you're gonna put your screws, just adjust accordingly. Now I moved all of this outside under my carport because I don't want to take a chance of building this in the workshop and getting trapped in there like I've done in a previous project. So it might be a little bit different lighting and sound quality might not be the best. I'm sorry about that, but let's go with it. Now I've set this up to be a 90 degree angle from this bench to this bench. And I've had to play with this. To get this to the right height, I strongly suggest using some kind of a car jack as I have here. If you don't have a car jack, you can always use wood and whatever you have to space it up just to the right height. A car jack is real simple because you can get it right and real precise. And then we're gonna screw all these together. 
Now once you get everything lined up, it's a good idea to clamp it in place so it doesn't move around. It's also a good idea to pre-drill the holes for the screws that we're putting through these boards here because this is already cut at 45 degrees. It's pretty thin and you want to make sure you're not going to split the wood ahead of time. We started laying out 5 quarter inch decking board on the top of the frame. Starting at the back should prevent any unevenness. The sides should be at 45 degrees. But to be safe, I marked all of them with a pencil before cutting them out. I also made sure the grain structure was in a U shape, so as the wood ages, it would bow downward to prevent water buildup. Starting in the middle of each board, I pre-drilled each hole to help prevent cracking, and then I installed all of the screws. Normally you need to account for wood expansion and contraction, but this pressure treated wood is really wet. So I'm not as concerned for this setup. It is always a good idea to double check the position of the wood as you go, just in case something gets shifted. A little piece left right here I need to add some wood, so I cut out a small triangle to fit in there. I can only have enough room to put one screw, but I'm also going to put some glue right here, some exterior type 3 glue, just to make sure it stays in place. The bench is definitely heavy, so I enlisted some help to move it into position. What do you think, huh? What do you think? You like it, huh? Now this is a simple project. It is definitely heavy duty and should last the test of time. And I have a feeling we're gonna have a bunch of fun using it. Now, if we can just figure out how to get rid of the bugs. Hmm. Add an additional perfect, perfective. We can add an additional perfect, perfect. Why can I not say protective? <laughs> 